What is up guys, this is Sito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the Windows 11 tweaks that I use and on the previous video that I have made on my channel that is the Redmi Note 10 Pro's front camera fix video some of you guys has been asking me what's the widget that I use on my home screen and stuff so yeah I'm gonna explain everything almost that I use on a daily basis on my Windows 11 PC and of course with this video you will be able to like actually use these things and of course it will help you in daily driving so let me start this video off and here I'm using Windows 11 Pro version 21 H2 and the OS build is 22,000.708 so this is the latest build that I'm using right now and yep it's working fine but Windows 11 still lacks a lot of features from Windows 10 and that really annoys me. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about here is the net speed meter. So this is the net speed meter I use. This is the traffic indicator kind of stuff if you're noticing on the taskbar. Looks beautiful and everything is like really convenient with this net speed meter. And let me actually show you I am downloading some stuff and it's showing the download speeds. If you don't know how to actually get this net speed meter you can actually check out the description i have made a separate video for this particular thing right now let's talk about this widget first of course you can add multiple things like time and weather but how do you actually get it on windows 11 i'm not able to click on it because i have disabled all those options and for the weather it actually shows how is the weather then there is the like place where you want to set it to and the temperature and the time and here you can just search view widget it will appear and once you install it this is how it looks like of course in the microsoft store page and here you can see the other screenshots or other things that you can customize i'm gonna resize it so that you can see it better and there is a new widget option then the layout option and settings it's really really like minimalistic i would say and in the settings panel we have the preferences over here let me actually tell you that you can actually rename some stuff let me actually add another one so that i can show you i can just add it and i'm just gonna rename it to anything like a b c d i can rename it to that and here i can actually customize these many things like weather finances app shortcut then the photos and the date and the time app shortcut and here as you can see this is what appears just like this and you can actually drag it to wherever you want to then you can customize it however you like it once you click on customize this kind of window will appear so let's assume i'm gonna use the audacity over here to this application as you can see it shows this application and the icon has appeared of audacity over here and you can actually shortcut the name and over here you can actually rename it to audacity or something so i just renamed that and it's appearing just like this and if you want to hide the name you can just like click on this hidden so it will actually hide the name and here you can increase the corner radius and stuff if you want to the name or the appearance color over here so the background color you can change it however you would like it to be there is the movement enabling option like you can actually click on it but if you are using the time or the weather widget i would say is just disable this movement once you disable it you can't actually move it around so yeah as you can see by clicking on it i can just open the application so the position is kind of locked over here i can't really move this once i click on that movement option so that's great we have the visibility settings and of course hide it if you want to and always on top option is there so even if you open some other things i think it will be on top and as you can see it's on top so yep you have all these customizable options so this is a really great like widget option for windows 11 and this app actually works perfectly great you actually delete it you can definitely click on remove and that will be deleted and for the weather and stuff you can actually customize let me show you you can actually set city from right here and we have the appearance color changing option so background color you can of course change to these kind of things the color for the clock to this one no no it doesn't look good this one actually looks pretty decent i would say but yeah this is how you can actually customize these widgets to however you want it right now let's talk about the next thing that i use on a daily basis and this is gonna change your life on windows 11 let me tell you why because on windows 11 the drag and drop functionality has been missing for a long time now so if i want to drag this file and drop it on this file explorer i can't really do that i can't like like search this image on chrome or something 
so this is very very annoying and it really sucks i would say so this is what i use for this drag and drop kind of thing the icon looks a little weird but this is what <laughs> i use and here let me show you for this you have to go to this github page but i'll list it below do not worry but for this like you if you want to download it you just have to scroll down then just click on this windows 11 drag and drop to taskbar option drag and drop taskbar fix option is there so yes the taskbar fix is what i use and once you download it the version is 2.3.0 over here and this is what it looks like and yes this is the icon of this so i have it on my downloads folder i'm gonna just double click on it once i double click on it you will see it on the taskbar just like this you only have to run it and you only have to like just make sure it's running over here on the taskbar so once you see that you can actually hold this particular file or any particular file for that matter and just bring it on the file explorer and right now even there is that like not possible icon then also there is like the files the file explorer is actually opening let me show you one more time if i drag it over here and drop it just like this just notice it's actually working and once i like, drag it over there i can definitely drag and drop it just over here so this is a life-changing thing i would say and it is actually working fine let me actually show you one more time if i open this desktop over here and right now if i minimize it and right now i'm not gonna drop it over here but i'm just gonna show you that from here i can just drag it and drop it just over here so that it appears over there again so yes the drag and drop functionality you can actually enable with this like github kind of application and it's a really life-changing experience again and the other app that i'm gonna talk about today is photo p and you can just like open the website of photo p so if you google it this is how it will look like and you can just click on the website and of course you will get the same thing what are the things that you can do with this so you can open or edit photoshop files so phd we have the pdf editing option too then raw or any kind of format like png gif etc you can actually edit with this so let me actually create a project over here let's click on new project and these templates actually look really really awesome i would say and yes this is totally free that's really awesome you just select this and press on create if you don't want these templates do not click on any of them so this is how it looks so right now let me just like bring this photo from my file explorer and here if i just drag and drop as you can see this is how it looks like and here the interface is actually looking like photoshop you might be noticing so here if you want to add some text or something let me actually do that quickly and if you want to change the color of course you can do that just like this the curve editing and stuff like the color kind of things this is how you can just do it and of course you are getting the idea this is basically a photoshop kind of experience but this is completely free that you are getting it for and of course you can just like save as psd or you have more options like saving as jpg png svg gif or pdf or even more options so yeah this is a really handy app or really handy web-based photoshop alternative that i use and this is gonna help you a lot if you are someone who edits a lot of photos on the go the next thing which i'm gonna show you is the LibreOffice. of course you will see this LibreOffice icon over here so once you go to the download section this is how it will look and we have the LibreOffice version 7.3.3 and of course you have used the microsoft office or google docs kind of stuff but this is actually a open source office that you can use on a daily basis and of course this also supports the pdf editing and stuff if you are someone who edits pdf and here you can see the other versions and on this LibreOffice, there is the writer document that is just the word kind of alternative and we have the spreadsheet that's the excel alternative we have impress presentation that's the powerpoint alternative and we have the draw drawing and there's the math formula and the base database this is a really handy application that i will say and here of course this is how the word interface looks like you can see spreadsheet and this is how it looks like of course you should be familiar with this because it definitely looks like excel or something and this is how that powerpoint alternative looks like the impress presentation one then we have this drawing option over here so you can just like use any kind of document editing stuff with this liver office and again this is completely free now one more thing that i'm gonna show you today that i use for my videos of youtube 
and yes storing the video files that i like upload every day keeping all the files of the videos is really hard so for that like the actual exported files are really really big so for that i use a separate app that is called the j downloader i can again link it below this is the j downloader too using this application is really easy again and you can just as you can see i have downloaded a lot of recent videos i would say so this is how i keep those and the folders you can see so this is the video and it's a six minute video not long but the file size you can see it's just 123 mb and if you want to look at the quality this is how it looks like and yes the quality seems to be decent no problems at all and if you're noticing it's also including the automatic subtitles and stuff so everything that appears on youtube you can just find it as you can see the like audio is there then there is the like thumbnail and this thumbnail i just keep from the original thumbnail over here that i use in videos and here you can just actually notice all the description also there is the srt subtitle i'd say so yeah this is a really handy application again and to use this let me actually show you fresh what you need to do so here let me just delete these things and here once you open it right i'm not sure if it's gonna actually grab the link but it actually does let me show you over here if i click on this get shareable link okay so it's as you can see it added this item to download and here this is really interesting but let me show you once you are doing it fresh you can just click on this add new link over here once you click on this add new link you can just select a particular disk where you want to actually put it to and after you do that you just like can paste the link over here and click on continue once you continue let me actually show you live over here and here if i click on this get shareable link so right now as i deleted that already it's not appearing so right now i'm just gonna click on continue as you can see it has like added and if i click on this play button it's actually starting to download so you can actually see the speed and stuff right on top and this is a really handy application and of course you can limit the download speeds if you want to if you're doing some other task with your internet you can definitely do those so that wraps up this video guys about the things that i use for the tweaks of windows 11 on a daily basis I think or I hope it will help you on daily driving your PC or laptop in your day to day usage of course. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Please share this video with your friends if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.